Welcome to our financial prelude, where we break down the latest market movements and corporate updates shaping the economic landscape. In the tech realm, Tata Technologies joint venture gears up to provide automotive software and IT solutions to BMW Group, alongside establishment in key Indian cities. Oil prices surged to a six-month high amidst supply constraints triggered by the Ukraine conflict, just as OPEC weighs its decisions. Brent crude stands strong at $89 per barrel. Market dynamics shift as expectations for U.S. Federal Reserve rate cuts diminish. Treasuries investors grapple with evolving sentiments post-market alignment. Amidst financial restructuring, Baidu's announces layoffs affecting 500 employees, with sales operations bearing the brunt, echoing challenges in the edtech sector. Foreign portfolio investors continue as net sellers for the second consecutive day, offloading stocks worth as 1,622.7 crore, as per provisional data. HCL Tech makes a significant move, exiting its joint venture with State Street for $173 million, marking a strategic shift in its business operations. Insights from Avendus Capital CEO, Andrew Holland, shed light on the banking sector's recovery optimism, while emphasizing the impact of global variables on market sentiment and nifty levels pre-election. Dabara India Limited plans to consider the recommendation of its final dividend on the 2nd of May. Sinjin International Limited is set to consider the recommendation of its final dividend on the 24th of April. Anand Rathi Wealth Limited will weigh the recommendation of its final dividend on the 12th of April. Craftsman Automation Limited is slated to consider dividend distribution on the 27th of April. Transformers and Rectifiers, India Limited will ponder over the recommendation of its final dividend on the 8th of April. Swearage Engines Limited will convene to consider and recommend dividend on the 18th of April. RS Software India Limited will assess the declaration of dividend, if any, on the 19th of April. Gujarat Toolroom Limited proposes a declaration of dividend ranging from 100% to 165% of the face value of 1 rupees on the 8th of April. GM Breweries Limited will deliberate on the declaration of dividend and a proposal for issuing bonus shares. Devang Near Sugar Company Limited plans to consider a proposal for stock split on the 19th of April. Spraking Limited announces a stock split from 10 rupees to 2 rupees effective from the 12th of April 2024. Miss Tan Foods Limited extends the rights issue period by two days, with a revised issue period from the 2nd of April to the 18th of April. The last date for renunciation is the 12th of April. Sarkuma Exports Limited will discuss further matters related to the rights issue on the 8th of April. Stay tuned for more updates on our channel. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for the latest business news. Thanks for watching. Please thumbs up if you like. Subscribe.
press the bell icon and never miss an update. Share and comment your thoughts on the comment section. And stay tuned with Corporate Actions India.